Hello, Tooth Fairy. Thank you for coming today. Hello, so nice to meet you. Oh, is that how they do it in Fairyland? That's how we do it here too. Yes, and a little twinkle on the nose. Oh, I love that social cue. Tell me about your job as the Tooth Fairy. I absolutely love my job because I get to travel all over the world and see cute little things just like you. I'm from Oklahoma. Uh, I've been to Oklahoma about one zillion times. How do you know when a kid loses a tooth? Well, technology can be magical too. With my new Tooth Gap app, I get a little buzz every time something loses a tooth. How can we see you right now? I thought you were invisible when you gather teeth. Well, that's because I want you to see me. At our annual mythological holiday creature training camp, we practice our magic to make sure we can sneak quietly and turn invisible so that you don't see us. That's the power of magic and my awesome scepter. Look, you can't see me now, right? I'm sorry, but I can. Maybe if you had a scepter like mine, we couldn't. What do you do with all of the teeth? Well, I have my own jewelry line. I have earrings, necklaces, and bracelets, which you can find all on Getsy. I also have my own rain stick line. You can listen to the magical sound of teeth on my Pandora account. Let's not forget helping others. I have a charity. Little ones aren't the only ones who lose their teeth. When I plant a little tooth in the fertile soil of Fairy Valley, they grow into dentures. That's why my charity is called Denture Venture, so our grandmas and grandpas can have teeth too. Isn't that nice? It's time for the lightning round. <gasps> How fast can you fly? Well, with a little shake of my wand, I can fly around the whole earth in less than 12 parsecs. How many houses do you visit in one night? Approximately 3,122, give or take a few hundred. How many tooth fairies are there? Oh, only one. I am the great, 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 great granddaughter of the original tooth fairy. There's only one Santa. There's only one Easter bunny. There's only one me. Speaking of Santa, do you know Santa? I do. I met him at a few office parties and he'll tell you a secret. He tells the best jokes. I also play golf with the Easter Bunny every Tuesday. They're great. After a two minute interview and a lightning round, I feel qualified to do your job. What? Is that why you brought me here to steal all my information? I told you, there's only one Tooth Fairy. And that's me, sister. Now there's two. <laughs> I think I'm going to skip work and call in sick, even though I'm not sick. I'm going to stay home and watch my favorite program. Pull it or let it fall out natural. Oh no, my TV's not working. Better call the repairman. Hello, ma'am. I'm here to fix your TV. All fixed. Great. Let me just get my purse. Here you go. Is this the current exchange rate? We don't accept tooth as payment, ma'am. Oh, how embarrassing. Look at all of these packages. I only missed one day of work. Dear Tooth Fairy, I lost my tooth. You didn't come to get my tooth. Are you sick? Your worried friend, Milo. <gasps> Are they all like this? Oh no, I better get to work. Okay, here we go. First house of the night. Ah! Not this house. Intruder alert. Here we go. Ah! What? 
Who are you? And why are you in my house? I am the Tooth Fairy, and I forgot I'm not invisible because I haven't practiced my magic at the annual Mythological Holiday Creature Training Camp yet. I'm new. Do you have change? I have to pay my repairman. Actually, it's fine, it's fine. Here's your receipt. Well, how did that go? I'm done being the Tooth Fairy. That was too hard. How long have you been the Tooth Fairy? About... 1,011 years. Dream job requires experience. Experience required for dream job. Oh, it's a cycle. That's all the time we have today. I'd like to thank my guest, the Tooth Fairy. You are welcome. And I hope you learned a valuable lesson today. Tooth Fairy's jobs are very important and very hard. Just like your teeth. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye.